Hello you buggers. So last night the people of Earth were privileged to observe a lunar eclipse. That is when the Earth passes between the Sun and the Moon, casting a shadow across the Moon's surface. Not all light gets blocked. Some sunlight is refracted by the Earth's atmosphere, bathing the Moon in soft red light, causing what is known as a blood moon. There were many live streams and countless amateur and professional observations. I'm not going to go through them all here. Uh, Soundly had a very nice and detailed stream. The Morgul, on the other hand, didn't really try. The phone camera is not the observation tool of choice. And the rest of his hangout was just word salad. Sound and date managed to link streams from different parts of the world. And that is the point I would like to talk about here. I've created a very, very simple 3D model for demonstration purposes. If I make it too good, then I would be accused of creating glossy cartoons to confuse flat earthers. So let's go the really, really simple route. So here is a camera that is on the surface of the globe and its orientation is locked to always point at the moon. This recreates perfectly the idea that someone puts a camera on a level tripod and points it at the moon. Now, from any point on this surface, where we can observe the moon, you can see that the orientation of the moon changes. But we always see the same face of the moon. Now if we do the same on the flat model with the cameras locked to the surface, changing our position, the face of the moon is completely different and all over the place. And we can even see the dark side of the moon. Okay, maybe the moon is a flat disk. Uh, well, that doesn't work. The fact is, there is nothing in the Flat Earth stories that can make the moon appear anything like what we see on the world, the globe. On the Flat Earth, you can see the moon from any point at any time of day. On the Earth, unfortunately, a huge number of people were on the wrong side of the globe to observe the eclipse. So it doesn't really take much effort to blow Flat Earth out of the water. You think I'm right? You think I'm wrong? You can put your thoughts in the comments. Till next time, you buggers.